Hi and welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I would do an overview of my new uh, synth and it, it, I have got myself a Modi X Plus 6. So that is the 61 key version. Just going to kind of go over a kind of overview of it, the features, specs, etc. And then the next video I will be actually uh, playing the thing and uh, going over the controls and a bit more in depth. I've had it for about four days and uh, it is pretty damn amazing. When I bought the uh, Akai MPC61 uh, a few months ago, um, I kind of swithered between the two of them. So I got a really good deal on the MPC. Um, so I kind of bought that and I've, I've really liked that. I've been getting on great with it. But then I thought, uh, maybe I could just get the Modi X and do a compare and contrast between the two because they are very similarly priced. I mean, they work completely differently, but uh, price-wise um, and size-wise, um, they are quite similar. That one of the reasons that I got the Modi X has dropped in price by about £600 uh, since it came out uh, in 2022. So that is a big chunk of money. I'm going to start off with the video and then I'll go into the specs just so that you can, if you've never actually seen one of these things in action. There you go, and you could see during that there's quite a lot of features. It does have um, a fair amount of things uh, like built-in audio interface. It has a lot, a lot of uh, parts, so it has eight parts per program. You've got 256 notes polyphony um, and all sorts of other malarkey going on. So if we f go back up to the top, right, so the Modi X, and it is called the Modi X, not the Mod X, because it is a cross between montage and the DX7. The, the Modi X Plus makes all elements of your music sound amazing. And to be honest, it, it is quite pretty um, damned amazing. The uh, Modi X uh, uses the same technology that powers the flagship montage. So you get, uh, you've now get 128 notes of AWM2, which is advanced wave memory, uh, sample and synthesis polyphony for stunning emulative acoustic instruments. Uh, synth sounds and drums. Uh, so the Modi X Plus also features 128 notes of FMX, which is frequency modulation, uh, polyphony, a uh, unique, expressive, highly programmable synthesis technology for dynamic electro-modern music creation. Electro-modern? Why not just say EDM? Anyway, so the FM engine is actually an eight operator. The OP6 uh, only has six, but then it costs uh, more than this just for, for that. So anyway, so control. Um, every artist wants to find their own sound. So motion control is designed to bring the sophisticated automation of music production to real-time live performance. And you do know I like a real-time live performance. We shall see. It goes to the super knob. So the super knob is, I mean, really, could they not have found something else to call it than the fucking super knob? Anyway, 
The super knob is to shape and sound as a conductor is to an orchestra. It directs individual dynamic elements into a single music expression, like a conductor. Uh, the super knob can tell one player to turn up while another turns down. You can change the shape of the notes from long to short, bright to dark, or move a player from being right next to you to the back of the concert hall. And it is freaking clever, I have to say. It is one of the best features. Because, I mean, it allows you to simultaneously control up to 128 parameters in a single performance. I mean, what the actual is going on. Uh, this means you control mixed functions like volume, pan and effect sends or detailed synth parameters like filters, LFO and operators. That's 120 parameters simultaneously in capitals. Uh, you can even control the super knob with a FC7 foot controller, making it easy to manipulate the sound when playing with both hands. And to be honest, I have actually bought a foot, a foot controller, not the F, not the Yamaha one, because that costs 70 quid. But I'll show you later on which one I've got. It's the first time I've ever used uh, an expression pedal, and it is pretty cool. So motion sequences, um, these are pretty um, complicated, to put it mildly. Uh, motion sequences are tempo synchronized, completely customizable control sequences that can be assigned to virtually any synthesizer parameter and provide incredible new ways of creating sound. So yes, they are pretty incredible. Motion sequences also have dedicated controls on the front panel, making it easy to manipulate and change in real time, providing incredible interactivity and expression. So for live playing, I think this thing is, is actually better than the MPC key, I have to say. For like manipulating stuff live and uh, it has this uh, seamless sound switching, which I don't know, well, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know if anybody else has this, which allows you to seamlessly switch between programs, as they are called. So it also has an envelope follower. So if you fancy doing a bit of ducking on your uh, EDM, then the envelope follower is for you. And I will show you that in a separate kind of video later on. It has auto beat sync as well. One of the few new features, as well as the upgrade to... Um, polyphony is uh, rubber coated uh, pitch bend and mod wheels now to be honest there's they're not great even so i i would hate to think what the original modi x ones were like because these aren't brilliant and um, certainly they're not as good as the mpc key so yeah so that is a few features the original modi x came out in 2018 and the plus came out end of 2022 it's what a year and a half um, and like I said, it's come down 600 quid in, in that time. Scroll down, you can see these are the original prices. So the the, the 8 was uh, 2,240. The 7 was, uh, we'll call it 2 grand. Um, and then the 6 was 1,680. So that is now, well, 700 pounds uh, cheaper, uh, I would say. Um, in a year and a half. I'll just so, speak about the build quality before I go on to the features. Um, it is completely plastic. So compared to the MPC, it is nowhere near as well built. The top part of the MPC key case is metal and the key bed is, I think, a superior quality. It's not fatar, but it's not far off it. Whereas the, the keys on the Modi X Plus are much kind of lighter they're kind of hollow at the back they're not like a solid key underneath so i think the keys on my s49 are better having said that they still play quite nicely i mean they're not they're not rubbish but for 1680 quid i think we could have had a better keyboard i have to say sound so like i said it has the uh, the awm2 engine which is exactly the same as what you get in a montage costing three grand for that reason alone, it's worth getting, uh, and the FMX engine, uh, incredible range, uh, power and fidelity. The uh, the Modi X goes well beyond the capabilities of the original DX7 with an 8 operator FM architecture, uh, 128 note polyphony, and many filter types and more, all with motion control for ever evolving and changing textures. Smart Morph enables morphing between the FMX sounds. Its sophisticated AI algorithm creates an interactive morphing map. <laughs> really from up to eight uh, from up to eight fmx sounds you can play this map from the touch screen and or, or or also use the super knob to move between two points the result is a staggering number of interesting and act interactive new sounds we have now got 256 note polyphony the original modi x had 64 on each so it had only 128 so it has doubled and then the uh, the uh, integrated flash so for some reason I'm not quite sure why. Maybe Yamaha have got some 
some really good reason for this. It's gone from one gigabyte to 1.75. Why, why not just make it two gigabyte? I mean, 1.75 gigabyte is not a standard size. What was the point? Just make it two. 1,700 quid for Christ's sake. You also get virtual circuitry modeling, which is difficult for me to say. So for instance, get ADM sound with effects like beat repeat, vinyl break or bit crusher, uh, using the spiralizer effect to create auditory illusion of tone continuously rising or falling in pitch. Uh, add a compressor with sidechain for a modern ducking effect or go retro with vintage effects like analog delay, the VCM phaser and various amp simulators. And you can also hook up to Sound Mondo uh, and download various performances that people have uploaded. Um, and there's also an app as well for this Yamaha Connect uh, and it allows you to connect via USB to your computer and copy over uh, files from there as well. That is the uh, the Modi X Plus. Uh, and if we go to uh, Music Matter where I got mine, you can see that the prices have dropped quite dramatically. So the 8 is, uh, we'll call it 1370. The 7, which is uh, the 76 key, is 1189 uh, and the six is uh, 960 so it's below a grand yeah so it says 961 and then you click on it and it's actually 979 so uh, and it's not even in stock now so so you can back order it so they are very very good and uh, um, especially if you have any issues you can actually phone and speak to them and they normally are very helpful um, so like I said, I'll leave a link to this. Uh, this is a kind of better shot of what it looks like. You've got four knobs here before the super knob. And uh, depending on which mode you're in, you can switch between things like tone, effects, uh, EQ and uh, ARP. Uh, and then you can just adjust things accordingly. Um, it doesn't kind of have like an ADSR preview. You don't get that kind of waveform, which is a bit of a shame. You just get a control number change. The screen isn't as good as... The MPC, it's not quite as sharp or responsive. Sometimes I've got to try and, when I'm trying to hit a small button, it's, uh, you've, yeah, I've got to be pretty precise and sometimes it doesn't always get it first time. So I would say, yeah, that the, the touch response isn't as good as the MPC and the, the MPC does seem a bit sharper. But having said that, it's still perfectly good. And uh, you have this other data dial here, which you can scroll quickly through um, lists of uh, presets, etc., and a set of cursors that you can move manually, uh, and you have various other buttons there. Plus, one thing that the MPC does not have is faders, so you can use those to adjust quite a lot of things, um, and you can switch between uh, the eight parts uh, or sections or performances or whatever you want to do. So you can use those for adjusting the volume, uh, various other parameters as well. But especially when you're working live, you can obviously fade things in and out um, quite easily, which I like doing. So that is the Modi X. Uh, and the 7, like I said, exactly the same, but with 76 keys. As I mentioned, I um, I bought the uh, the M Audio Expression pedal. Uh, actually better, I think, than the Yamaha one. So yeah, so you can see this bit's rubberized and uh, it also has uh, a little switch here. So you can adjust where uh, it starts and it's also kind of got rubber feet and quite a decent length of cable and has a quarter inch jack which is standard for pedals. So yeah, so for £12.50, it's an absolute no-brainer because like I said, you can just bang it in foot switch 2 and it will sync up to the super knob and it is pretty cool, especially when you, not just when you're playing with two hands, but for quickly going from 0 to 100, if you see what I mean, um, on the, the super knob, you can kind of create ducking effects, uh, which you can't really do doing it uh, kind of manually with your hand. So that is it for today's overview of the Modi X. So I'm still working my way um, through it and uh, learning a bit more about it. So anyway, so as usual, thanks for watching. And uh, if you are enjoying my videos, please like, share, subscribe, comment, whatever you like. Uh, and I will see you in the next one.